Hey fish freaks. In today's video, I wanted to take you through a day on the water fishing. Got a couple of new baits that I wanted to try. And also, a lot of you have been asking about what the thing is on my fishing rod. And so I also wanted to show you how I track my fish during the day. So uh, I've been using a tracking system uh, for uh, many months now and I've been just trying to use that as a tool to help me uh, catch more fish in the future basically. Uh, I used to do this by simply just writing things down, um, taking notes in my iPhone, um, but this is just a new thing I'm trying out and I know a lot of you have been asking about it and quite honestly I've been experimenting with it so I just wanted to wait till I had some data to show you. So let's get out on the water and catch some fish and uh, we'll sh show you some stuff on uh, a new bait that I really like and then uh, we'll look at some fish catches and break it down. Today we're going to be doing a little uh, bank fishing. There's a fish, my gosh, first cast. That might be a catfish. What the heck is going on? Are you kidding me? No, that's, yeah, that's a catfish. That was literally my first cast up here in the shallows, throwing this bait that I've been messing around with lately, this uh, flashy swimmer. Gonna be messing around with this bait today. Up here in the shallows, I saw a bunch of birds lying in the bank. And this type of cover is like, it's really nasty. Could normally get a spinner bait through there okay, but I want to mess around with this this combo because I fished it around grass. Just throwing this bait at, at Sam Rayburn. And it did pretty well, but I want to see how it does around the stick ups. And I believe the catfish are spawning this time of year, so I might actually get a couple of those guys in here. That's fine. If I catch one big enough, he's definitely gonna go in the frying pan. So to throw this swim bait, I've got, um, they got the seven foot favorite big sexy, heavy. Uh, perfect for making these little roll casts in here to this heavy cover. Pretty straightforward the way you fish this thing. You just reel it right along. You might give it a little bump every once in a while. I think this is a really effective hook. Oh, another kitty cat slammed it. You might be going home today, sorry. You screwed up. So now that I've had a chance to look at these bait fish, they're really pretty small. So I'm gonna switch up to a little bit smaller swim bait. Just pop that right in there. There we go. Now those smaller swim baits, they don't swim as well, but I just, I think that's what they're feeding on is a little bit smaller bait fish. That's what they're used to looking at up there. There we go, here's a bass. He almost just picked it up off the bottom. Oh man, that's a chunky one there. Chunky fat bass, look at that guy. Man, gotta love it. See you, dude. Fun fight. Got a Carolina bass. It's fighting weird. Oh, there he goes. Okay, well, we'll count that. Wasn't getting any bite shallow on the rock, so I decided to just come on out a little bit. It's a scoob. A scoob bass. Oh, Carolina rig's always good for a few little ones. Hooked up. They all feel good on six pound line or eight pound line, I think is what I got on here. It's a fat, healthy fish. Well, when it gets tough, just high pressure, shaky heads, certainly a good standby. Got him out. Healthy. See you, dude. 
from the last gym. Yeah, goodbye. Well, caught a hat. It's always good. Here's a fish on the crank. Saw some fish um, coming up and feeding on shad right there. So I decided to throw that crank out. there found ourselves a frogfish black frog even time try to get a few more fish tracked here do, 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 do. got him oh yes that's a big one uh-huh Little Kermig went for a walk and he got a frog, a bass in the face. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Post spawn, you can see it in the tail. A little notch in the tail from spawning. That was fun. Fun, I tell you. All right, I'll let you go, sir. Go eat a real frog. I know that's what you really wanted. You wanted a real frog. See ya. Now I want to take you guys to the fish cave where we can break down this fishing data and kind of look at it, look at the conditions, how they change throughout the day, and how that related to catches. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys a few trips and hopefully we'll learn a little something. I'll see you back at the fish cave. Alrighty, fishing freaks, now that we're back at the bass cave, I wanted to show you some data. You know, basically help me kind of figure out why I was catching fish or wasn't catching fish or just keep track of those important moments I don't want to forget. There's just a few things that I really want to make sure that I remember and sometimes I can't remember exactly uh, the conditions and there's other things in here that I can't even remember um, that I, I'd have to go back and I'd have to look up that um, it would just be a pain in the butt to go look all that stuff up. So I'm going to show you guys what um, the tracker I've been using does and basically how it helps you analyze the fish you caught and why you caught them. So this is the dashboard right here. Uh, here's me, LFG. No idea why I'm upside down. but. I am, and this is just kind of a, uh, an overall view of my, my total trips, you know, I can look at where I've been and, um, you know, I don't have too many trips in the books, um, but, you know, I got 13 right here, so I just wanted to go to some of my latest trips. Uh, this is from today that we can walk through. and. You know, you get an overall map, it'll show you uh, what's going on there. It'll show you where uh, you caught the fish. Um, does all this via, via GPS. Um, you can see your tracks and all that. So um, every, time, every time you catch a fish uh, and you mark a fish, it will leave you a little pin like this. Now you don't have to have the tracker to do this. You can manually do it on your phone, the app's free, and you can basically manually enter it every time. But that kind of sucks, you know, when you're fishing to enter all that information manually. So I don't like to mess with that. I like to use that tracker because I can put it on my rod where it tracks all my casts, um, or I can just stick it in my pocket um, and I can literally just press the button and it marks everything for me. So I don't have to go mess with my phone or anything like that. So if we look at how some fish were caught during this trip here, um, you start to kind of see a pattern. Like obviously the, the first few hours really sucked. 
Um, add one fish here, uh, and you can kind of follow this down and it'll show you uh, the conditions. And then I've got two fish right in the middle here. Okay, and then um, the barometer, this is what I really like to pay attention to, the barometer change, okay, it's just like a steady decline right here. Wind speed starts picking up like a mother on the back end right here, um, and the wind direction drastically changes, like it's blowing southwest right here, okay, and as soon as it switches to west, that's when I got, uh, when I started getting uh, bites. And I don't know why I've always heard this. When the wind is out of the west, the fish bite the best. When it's out of the east, the fish bite the least. Like I used to have old fishing guides tell me that and stuff. I don't know if that's really true, but maybe after a while looking at this, I, I can put together a pattern and see. But as soon as it switched out of the west, started getting bites right there. Boom, boom, caught this fish. And then the barometer continued to drop as that uh, air temperature picked up and the wind picked up um, and then the barometer started rising after that front went through you can really see that um, and soon and as soon as that um, uh, started to change when the front started to uh, blow all the way through and um, it was really high winds you can look at the winds right here uh, it got really high you know, it's almost a sustained 17 right there at the very end. That's where I was getting uh, bites, so it just picked up right there. So southwest, west, and then northwest. Now, uh, if we look at another trip, so uh, I basically split this up into a couple different days right here. Let's go look at, let's go look at frogs, okay? Again, with the, with the wind, drastic pickups here at the end of the day um, but the bite is just fairly this is just an evening trip right here so the bite is pretty consistent uh, barometers dropping that's usually when the bite is the best is on a dropping barometer um, and the wind was sustained out of the same direction so it'll show you exactly where uh, those fish uh, were caught and exactly the condition every time you catch one so that's one of the really neat things about tracking this if I want to go back in and make notes on a trip I can um, so I can say all right I caught that on a jig or I caught it on a frog uh, or I caught it on whatever you know it doesn't it doesn't matter you can you can go in and make as much detail as you want or as little detail as you want but the main point is um, it's gonna help you put together those clues that a lot of times we ask like dang I wonder why we were catching them so good right there um, and I feel like I've only scratched the surface with this I've got a lot more uh, detail to look at and um, I've got a lot more trips I can show you guys but I just wanted to kind of look at um, the last couple days when I've been out of the water just to look at some examples and really just you know try to break that down and kind of give you some context so many of you have asked like what's that thing on your rods and I just wanted to show you what I've been doing I almost feel like you learn more from tough days than you do on really good days um, because like you could see right there I could see where the conditions changed and when I started getting bites again it wasn't really anything I was doing different on the water it was just you know the conditions change and the fish started biting after that so something to pay attention to if you're a fishing freak like me you like to pay attention to stuff like that so I'll put a link in the description where you can check it out like I said the uh, the app is free to download um, so you can start messing around with that and tracking your catches manually um, and if you don't want to mess around with that uh, you can get the tracker which is uh, sold in some big box stores right now or you can get it at um, their website and you can stick it on your rod and it detects every time you cast um, and every time you catch a fish so for me the casting really doesn't matter a whole lot um, all that is is just kind of like bragging rights like it'll show you your cast to catch ratio if you're really just interested in, in the catches and bringing in all that 
uh, weather and water data. So if I was on a lake that had a, a water uh, buoy, like a river system, it would also bring in like current, um, how much water they're pulling and stuff like that. If there's a dam on there where they're pulling water. So it pulls in all that data and it helps you put together those clues. So I think it's cool. I'm a fishing freak. I'm a nerd for that kind of stuff. Um, but if you guys want to check it out, you can check it out in the link down below. Winston has wandered into the office. Come here, you big old bully dog. So a couple of other announcements I wanted to run by you guys. Today and tomorrow, if you go to favoritusa.com, uh, you can get 20% off a fishing rod. Use the promo code LFG20 when you go to checkout. So if you want to fish a Big Sexy, if you want to get a Phantom, and I believe the Big Sexies now, sexies now are shipping with an awesome tube. Uh, it's basically like a travel case you can keep to put other fishing rods in and uh, you know travel with when you go on airplanes and stuff like that. I believe they're shipping with those now. I saw them last time I was up in Missouri. Um, they're getting ready to ship with those. So uh, that's a cool addition if you're um, basically any rod that's uh, a Phantom, a Big Sexy, any of the rods that are uh, Phantom and above come with that cool uh, tube. You think that's pretty cool? I think he's passed out. Additionally, I will be making a little travel up to the northern part of Arkansas this weekend and I'll be going with some of the favorite guys. So basically like me, Lunkers, Flair, uh, Parrick, all those guys, we're gonna be up. Um, I will leave the address uh, down below, but it'll be uh, it'll be northern part of Arkansas. You guys can come out and say hi if you're in the northern part of Arkansas. If you guys learned something from today's video and if you wanna see more breakdowns uh, after I get off the water, let me know in the comments. I want to use the tracker as a tool to kind of help uh, show my day on the water. You know, like I've been kind of doing lately, I get off the water and I'll show you the baits and kind of the patterns. Um, I might want to start using this as a tool uh, to help show uh, exact things that were going on. And I'm learning this as I do it. So um, it should be pretty cool to, to kind of lay out for you guys as I'm, as I'm learning it. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you think that'll help and I will start doing that more I'll start doing more breakdowns when I get off the water in addition to the on water action And that is all I have for you today fishing freaks. I hope you go catch some slob heads Wherever you are this weekend Catch a big one for me because I'm probably not gonna be fishing the rest of the weekend pretty much fished all week Came off a long stretch from Florida. If you missed those videos, go back and check them out. I am so proud of my big snook. Please go watch that video if you haven't already. Because I was so excited. I was doing my snook happy dance at like 4.30 in the morning. And I'm going to just spend some time with the fam this weekend before I got to get on the road again. Because uh, we've been fishing a lot lately. Winston, Winston's been lonely. All right, Winnie Pooh, close us out with a little enthusiasm here bud maybe a little bark or something like that that's about all we're gonna get not even a fart all right guys we will see you on the next video hope you have a great weekend later